sneezing with your eyes open. Lightspeed travel, not crying in the opening five minutes of Pixar's Up. All of these things sound more possible than obtaining a PlayStation 5 or really any device that's affected by the worldwide chip shortage. So how does one do the impossible and actually snag the white whale of each day? As we've covered before, finding a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X at a reasonable retail price feels about as achievable as fist fighting the sun. This is due to a combination of global chip shortage and scalpers using bots to scoop up gobs of stock before any regular person can. Sneakerheads, concertgoers, and John Connor all probably understand the very specific heartbreak that comes when victory is suddenly snatched from your hands by a robot. No human can go through the checkout process as fast as a bot can, so don't beat yourself up. You're not being outrun by some rando who has mastered the art of the add to the cart quick draw. Frequently, these are AIO bots, or all-in-one bots, which spend all day scanning stock over thousands of websites every second. They're linked to several different accounts and mini credit cards to prey on those affected by the shortage by selling them for wild markups. Meanwhile, folks like Hari Najarajan have tried to help consumers by creating free bots like Fair Game with coding instructions available to the common folk so they could stand a chance against the AIO bots when trying to purchase NVIDIA graphics cards. It came with its own risks, but it offered a chance to level the playing field. But alas, just like when HAL 9000 betrayed the crew of Discovery 1, the scalpers themselves started to use Fair Game. Some scammers even started selling Fair Game to users despite it actually being free. So Najarajan stepped down from maintaining Fair Game. So once again, bots are not the answer because they will eventually turn traitor on us. There is no fate but what we make for ourselves. So here are a few do's and don'ts for the actual humans trying to acquire a PlayStation 5. Do have all your accounts up to date. I know, I know. Every website and vlog on how to get a PS5 tells you this, but it's like sleeping more or drinking enough water. Advice that's frequently given, but never heeded. And seriously, your pee looks like flat beer. Drink the water. Updating your shipping information and credit card details on the retailer's websites that you're frequently checking for stock helps save those precious moments you have when you finally see that mythical add to cart button. Don't be a clown to the employees of said retailer when asking about restocks. You are likely not the first person to ask and you will not be the last. If you've ever worked retail, you understand employees know just as much as you do. Do do your diligence when looking for Twitter accounts to follow for stock updates and stop quietly laughing to yourself because I said do do. Many of these accounts are fantastic and one of them actually helped a G4 producer obtain a PS5. Congratulations, well deserved. These accounts are doing the Lord's work, but some are also preying on the public by tweeting out fake stock drops that actually just lead to affiliate links for counterfeit Funko Pops or even worse, just trying to get you to give them money directly. When you find one that seems legitimate, as in tweeting actual links to retailers and not questionable websites to stores you've never heard of like Crazy Kevin's PS5 Emporium or Bestest Buy, make sure you turn on notifications in addition to following them since, as we've learned, stock moves fast. Don't, I beg of you, don't buy a PS5 via social media. No one on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, GeoCities, whatever have you, just came upon an extra one that they're willing to sell you at a reasonable price. Beware of false promises, like those emails from international princes offering wads of cash or pills promising enlargement. Some retailers are doing what they can to make the process feel less like a gauntlet by offering in-store only pickup or, like Sony Direct, offering a chance to get in line and queue up. Although, word of advice, opening multiple tabs doesn't increase your chances of snagging a console, but using browsers across multiple devices does. Honestly, there's no silver bullet to this other than patience. Track the retailers in your area and know when they drop their stock and know to refresh the pages repeatedly when that moment comes. 
Some folk have had luck with bundles, as bots don't necessarily snatch them up immediately, and it's pretty sweet if you need something like an extra controller, which you definitely do with a PlayStation 5. Although Twitter and the accounts updating what's in stock and where have truly proven to be the most helpful. While Sony and Microsoft are trying to increase production, as we've said before, we may not see the results of that until late next year. But who knows? There might be some new changes that are being implemented to make this process less hellish. And there's no boat that's stuck in the middle of the Suez Canal right now. That I know of. The giant boat that got stuck in the Suez Canal to the heartwarming delight of the entire internet was unstuck three months ago, but the Titanic was impounded by the Egyptian government along with its 18,300 cargo containers after the Suez Canal Authority filed a claim against the ship's owner for damages and losses when it essentially pulled the same maneuver I once saw executed by a large German shepherd attempting to shove himself through a small doggy door. So if anyone wants to infiltrate an Egyptian shipping impound, we could add that to one of the other ways you can acquire yourself a next-gen console. Follow those Twitter accounts, set your alerts, be patient and maniacally focused, and you could possibly acquire the console of your dreams. Or you can buy from a scalper and have one on the way before I even tell you to subscribe to this channel. But seriously, don't. It's up to you, even if it takes a minute longer to get your hands on a PS5. And remember, the PS4 has an incredible library of games. Uh, I have to go wash my hair. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, uh, in the meantime, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and let us know if you've been able to obtain a next-gen console and how you did it. We all have to pitch in in our fight against the robot overlord.